<laughs> All right, everybody. Hello. My, na uh, my name is um, uh, uh, Kirk Gals, and I am your auctioneer for this evening. Our first NFT up for um, grabs is the oh, pufferfish choking on a fucking carrot. First starting in at 1.5 million shitcoin. All right, we got 1.5 million. Can I get another one? Can I get another one? 1.6 million. All right, we got 1.6 million for the um, uh, pufferfish going... Oh. All right, and how about, oh, and we got a 1.7 million. All right, no, 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 can I get two, two million? Can I get, oh my God, can I get, can I get a, can I get a three million for the, oh my God, okay, okay, so one of you is going to have to decide, okay, 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 and then, oh shit, oh shit, a fight, a digital fight is breaking out. Everybody is fighting for the, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Well, welcome to the Better Than Podcast. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you know you were probably and fish. thinking, oh. what in the hell does that mean? <laughs> hey, you know what? Last week we talked. <laughs> Last week we talked about crypto. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, we're just gonna carry it on throughout the weeks. We, we got, really we got are. our thing. Uh, um, last yeah. week we talked about. Oh, wow. Cryptocurrency. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the word doozy means something that is extraordinary or outstanding of its kind. Yes. Oh. <laughs> you need a, we need a sound person to just... <laughs> we need a soundboard. We need a soundboard. We need yeah. a soundboard. That's there what we, we need. And if you can't tell, oh, we are right. not extraordinary or outstanding. Oh. But we want to be. That's right. And so <laughs> this is the podcast that where we are going to give you all the teal tools... <laughs> We're going to give you all the tools you need to become all the in life. All the teal tools. <laughs> all the tools you need to become oh. in life. <laughs> Successful. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and the best part is we're going to learn how to be successful ourselves. Though we also teach you how to be. Oh. <laughs> Does that make sense? That makes sense to me. Yeah. I'm Alex. Oh. Stop. <laughs> and I am <laughs> and I am Kirk. Oh. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> 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 What does the second one sound like again? Oh, <laughs> oh that's good. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that's how we need to introduce ourselves every episode. Yeah, we forward. need a soundboard. We need a soundboard. Woo. I'm researching how to soundboard. Oh, that's great. Okay, guys. We're going to learn how... <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about anymore. Yeah. Guys, we're going to learn how to NFT. Whoa. What the hell what is, is it? that? Yeah, what does what? it even mean? How do you do it? It's yeah. so popular. The part of the reason why I uh, like I think this is a great episode is because just like last week yep. as we were mentioning before, you know. <laughs> Can't do that while I'm taking a sip of my drink. <laughs> yeah. No, but right before that, um, we <laughs> don't, you, don't play it again. I, no, I need I need to get in on this so that we're we're having a battle here. Yeah, okay, right. great. No, okay. guys. So, so, dude, but you're wearing sunglasses, so I can see your screen. Can you? Yeah, I can see your uh, screen. Oh damn. So, no, but Let guys. Just click so last week, here. as we were mentioning, um, we are uh, we. Did cryptocurrency? Yes, we did. Which cryptocurrency is kind of like linked with NFTs. Which we took very serious, very seriously. Very seriously, <laughs> you know, very seriously until you know. <laughs> Give me the second one again. <laughs> what the 
and the hell's an NFT? But yeah, you know, that's the thing. That's why we're doing this episode. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> my chair's broken. I don't know what's going on. No, NFTs, I think I'm so excited for this episode what because... It, what does it stand for? What is it, it is, uh, I, I think what, what it's called is a non-fungible token. Yeah, non-fungible Fungible, non fungible, non fungible, non fungible token. Non fungible token. So what the hell does that mean? We're gonna go into it, but I'm excited about this episode. There's a lot of things that are not fudge, you know. Not fungible tokens. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, we're gonna make the the first non fungible token. <laughs> and they're like, when was fudge ever on my tokens? You know what they should do? Uh huh. We should make a, a an NFT where. Um, it's a, it's just, it's just like a piece of poop or something. And it, and above it, it says non, not fudge, not fudgeable token. Great. Greatest joke you've ever made. Fuck. So listen guys, part of the reason why I'm excited about this episode, because you know, last week you were a little bit more versed in the cryptocurrency stuff. And with the NFT stuff, I have started to like do a little reading on it. And also, I have, like, you know, started uh, following a few, like, Instagram uh, accounts on it. And, you know, like, looking at, like, the big thinkers like Gary Vee and stuff and what they're saying about it. But the interesting part about this topic. Yeah. I don't know if you've talked to people about it. But some people are, like, totally for it. And then some people are, like, what? Digitized ownership? What this and that? That's so fucking dumb. Like this. Those and, are the and, people that were like, "Oh, cell phones." Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, right? exactly. Stupid. That'll never work. Yeah, yeah. cell phones. <laughs> Freaking Instagram. Oh. <laughs> right. Freaking what NFTs? <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> because you know, there's all the <laughs> NFTs. Oh, <laughs> but there's all this stuff about like these technological advancements that. The NFTs are like this yeah, digitized let's ownership. Let's get a jump on let's this. Let's jump into I wanna, it. I want to know. Well, we can jump into it, but I also am glad we're getting a jump on this because. But this is also, you know, if you guys, if you guys remember, you know, this is this is back. I forget what episode this was, but like, you know, Kirk has a history of being like, oh. This is the next big thing. Oh. Let's let's do an episode That's on this. That's right. Yeah. And Clubhouse. Clubhouse was a <laughs> shit. We got all the buzz going on about Clubhouse and I, I we have as an episode. As- <laughs> Yo, we have an episode hot at Clubhouse and neither of us use Clubhouse. Yeah. Dude, I did or for like a month. Ever. I went in and I got kicked off, I think, because I was I was talking over people and whatnot. So Seriously? Yeah, I was it was in the episode. Remember? I guess so. But I can't wait for maybe this to be a clubhouse thing or maybe the next I'm the yeah. curse that's gonna make NFTs right. just a uh, crash right. and burn, you the know? Next one, there's gonna be an episode down the line be like, how to Strawberries or something like how that. How to? Like, strawberries are the big. Th- it's so big right you now. Yeah, strawberries are so up. big. Or like how to? <laughs> <laughs> you know? And everybody's just gonna be talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm killing it. Anyways, yeah, guys, um, let's jump into it because this is the new hot thing. And maybe I'm cursing it by saying that. Yeah. We don't know, but we're gonna or let's jump download in. into it. <laughs> that was dumb. That was real dumb. Guys, why so- would you? <laughs> no, I killed it. No, I'm not doing it. Okay, I'll get it back up. No, but listen, guys. <laughs> yeah. Um, these tips, we have eight top tips for you. How to NFT. But the- Let's NFT. Should we buy? We should make and buy an NFT. That's what we should Absolutely, do. together. Yeah. So these tips are, there's eight tips, and they're divided in three sections. Sections. <laughs> <laughs> the first topic the category is what are they and how are they different from crypto? And then we're going to go into what are some examples of NFTs and then how do you even buy one? So we're going to jump in first with what the heck are they and how are NFTs different from crypto? So to begin, <clears throat> as we mentioned earlier, NFTs are often mentioned in the same breath as cryptocurrencies since they are both on the blockchain. Well, NFTs are are tokens like cryptocurrency, they function differently. 
The main difference is in the NF of NFT, which stands for non-fungible. Okay. I usually I usually take a breath in between explaining cryptocurrencies and NFTs. What? What do you? I usually take a breath in between explaining NFTs and cryptocurrencies. <laughs> what are you saying? <clears throat> you said NFTs are often mentioned in the same breath. In you the same breath? Yeah. Oh, you take a breath. And oh, my God. You take. Oh, no. That's the most dad joke. I'm a, the king of dad jokes, and you just fucking. A horse walks into a bar. <laughs> Guys, so what is what does that mean? When something is fungible, like Bitcoin or even the U.S. The dollar, what does fungible mean? Well, when something is oh, fungible, yeah. <laughs> like Bitcoin or even the U.S. dollar, it can be traded for something else of an identical value. For example, let's say you lend your friend a twenty-dollar bill. Here you go. Stop. Here's Good twenty dollars. Because the dollar is fungible, your friend can pay you back with a ten-dollar bill and two five-dollar bills. Or two $10 bills. I spent it. Or any <laughs> other bill combination that equals the $20 loan. Oh. The same goes for Bitcoin. You can trade $20 <laughs> worth of Bitcoin for $20 worth of another cryptocurrency such as Cardano and still have $20. You can also trade one Bitcoin for another Bitcoin and have the same exact False. thing. What? False. Between trading fees and oh, because shit, of how really? volatile the market is, you could put twenty dollars in, lose five dollars for a trading fee, and because in that split second it goes down a thousand dollars, you actually lose like uh, like a dollar or two. So once you it actually transactions and goes through, you might only have fifteen or twelve dollars left from your twenty if you buy Bitcoin right now. So guys, something <laughs> so that's fungible. That's like, you know, tit for tat, but something non-fungible. Tits or tats. <laughs> <laughs> something non-fungible, however, has no exact equivalent. I need a timeout. Consider. Not, <laughs> I've been drinking. Yeah. Is so, that so, fungible? <laughs> okay, okay. Well, consider a piece of art. Hurry up! Such <laughs> as. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is important. Okay, sorry. So something non-fungible has no e exact equivalent. So when you look at art, such as the Mona Lisa, you, we've all been to museums, we've all seen art. Well, you can purchase a reproduced print of the Mona Lisa. There is only one original. You never own that original unless you're fucking so rich. And you can't trade the original Mona Lisa for anything of similar value to get the identical value as the ident identical value is the original Mona Lisa. So, an NFT has individual characteristics that make it unique, different from all other NFTs, just like the Mona Lisa is unique and different from all other paintings. You cannot trade an NFT for something that is identical or break it into separate assets that can be brought or sold like you can for cryptocurrency tokens. I can't be like, hey, I made this watercolor portrait of you, and you're like, yeah. So... <laughs> if I upload an NFT dick pic. An NFT dick pic? Yeah. I could own your dick? Well, a copy of it. Are you comparing your, your dick to the <laughs> Mona Lisa right now? <laughs> yeah, same unibrow. Because, uh, but why? <laughs> Doesn't she have a unibrow? Does, no, that's does Frida Kahlo, have a, right? Yeah, oh, Frida Kahlo, yeah. Guys, so apparently this is this is so this is so extensive. I know, but like I know it was important. It was important for for me to read because like uh, he's you, trying to buy my dick pic. Yeah, because the last thing that this first tip is is you can also think of something non fungible as another physical item you can own. The interesting thing is like I guess you you can't really own it if it's because uh, it's okay. So what are things that you can own? House plot of land, a car, or even a trading ca card. Even though there are many types of houses, card, cars, diamonds, plots of land, and trading cards, each individual asset has its own factors that adds or subtracts value. Like, what type of Pokemon cards did you have? I had fucking two Zapdos. Holographic. 
you know, that's something that like is weird. It, it's oh. almost like trading cards oh. is almost like similar to Can NFTs. Can I tell you something? So when I was in Florida, okay, my yeah. mom, she has a storage unit of all the old shit. That you, and holy shit. I have, no, no, me and my brother have two books. Of, Big binders, of, dude, me too. Of only all the original Pokemons. Holographic, right? Mm-hmm. And just, and just they're sitting there. And I looked and we were looking at just eBay trades and stuff like that. And you, there's one thing where it's like a, it's a trainer, right? It's a trainer card where it's just like a little Pokedex thing on it. It just says trainer. Guess how much that sells for on like eBay? Like 50,000? Like 40, yeah, 40 grand. No like fucking that. way. I have like five of them. And I have a holographic Charizard and I have all that. I have so many holographic. Dude, I have like 25 different I like need holographic to, things. We you need know? to go to a person and just get them fucking evaluated, put them in a case and then sell them for that's millions the of thing, dollars. That's the one thing about these NFTs and these like trading things. It's like, you know, like that's my, that's probably our entryway into it. When we were kids like that, like, like you trade and stuff. I never traded. I was like, no. This that, is the new generation's insane. way oh. to trade Pokemon. They're trading Pokemon cards just at a very higher price. Higher range. price. They're like, oh, I'm going to buy that Pokemon card. Dad? <laughs> Dad, can uh, I Dad, buy Dad, I'm trying to buy this monkey holding a banana for $2 million. But there's toxic is waste that on all, him. Son? And you can see That's his- m- less than your allowance. Because there are people like that. I hate you. Yeah. What? No, for real though, that is how I make sense of the NFT thing is trading when Pokemon I were trading Pokemon. But there's so many different types of NFTs. The weird thing though yes, is ex- explain this. Let's get let's get through this because uh, we're gonna get through it. We're gonna get through it. Let's uh, just move sell on my because Pokemon cards later right on we have we have uh, examples and stuff. We do. We have a few examples of like <laughs> popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, number the top seven. seven tip is the value. Of an NFT is not. <laughs> yes. Dependent on other NFTs. Okay. Okay. An NFT does not have any in true insic. Intrinsic. Intrinsic. What's this whole vibe you're doing? Value. Its value is determined by what somebody is willing to pay for it at the time. That's why they go so fast. Yeah, let, let, let me break this down for you. If you own two Bitcoins, okay? <laughs> for example, if I own two Bitcoins, that's the noise I make every morning. Yeah. For example, okay? The value is always dependent on the actual price of the Bitcoin at any given time, okay? An NFT, however is not based on what someone else pays for a different NFT, okay? Here's a great example from nonfungible.com. If Elon, if Elon Musk... Elon Musk, (laughs) okay. (laughs) If Elon Musk decides to purchase a used Nintendo Switch at an auction... For, oh, I don't know, half a million dollars? Jesus. That does not mean all used Nintendo Switches are now worth that price. F*** <laughs> you. No, for real? <laughs> I have Nintendo Switches, and you better be worth a half. Wait a second. I don't have a Nintendo Switch. You don't? No. But that's stupid. See, that's dumb. That, if I have. That's frustrating. That's frustrating. It is. If that's I, that's if the I one frustrating have, part about that. If I have a better condition, Charizard, and someone buys it for $3 million and I try to sell it for that price and someone only wants it for fucking $5,000. Uh, that's the one, you know, but that's why this is so it's in line with cryptocurrency is because no when you're with what crypto. what you do in this world, you lose. You don't win. And you should give up religion and, you, <laughs> and all uh, well, moral principles. Moral principles. <laughs> no, <laughs> no one's making it out of life. You think that fish knew he was going to choke on a carrot? <laughs> you didn't even know what you think he knew what he was chewing on? And that's how sick it is. Yeah. 
you know? But that you know, sucks though. It is that's the one thing about it. It's like I, I'm this Instagram that I follow, like they do all these videos every single day, and it's like blank sold out in one hour. And I'm like, well, what what is going on? Yeah. Where are these announcements of these NFTs? Are they just showing up and people are like literally such a, like I don't understand it. It's like it's only hot because it's like I don't I you know I don't I don't understand it. Yeah. And it doesn't, it doesn't matter like what kind of like like what I do. It no one has bought my dick pic NFT. Or or the piece of shit that says not fudgeable token. Yes. Not fudge. We got some hot Artwork. We got some hot NFTs in the metaverse. In the, right, getting ready for the metaverse. Yeah. Yes. But it is, you know, that's the frustrating part about it, where it's like, it's kind of similar to cryptocurrency, and why I think it's hand in hand is because you're saying like, oh, if you've heard of the the new hot cryptocurrency, yeah, then it's too late. When you've heard of the new hot NFT, it's too late. Oh, you want to board ape? Well, too bad. A rapper just bought it. For four point five million dollars, for some reason. Wow. Are, are are you getting depressed, or are you like, what's where's your your headspace? Because I know you're coming in blind. It's, I'm coming in just, blind too. It just seems like you know, you hear all the news for stuff. Uh, I don't know. People are just throwing around that kind of money. We we need to we need to. Well, I feel like another th- reason how. What what doesn't make sense to me is that I think some ways that you can buy these are with your cryptocurrency. Yes. Well, that's the only way you can buy it, right? That's right. Well, that's yeah. what I that's what I've seen. So it's, it's like almost one like Ethereum for this uh So like bookcase, is it yeah. smart to do that? I don't even know. Like yeah. apparently But like the thing is, okay, you buy this or use this my mentality my mentality with this crypto stuff and NFT is like, okay, so I invest in stuff and the moment that I do I buy it just so I can sell it later because it's it's is that it's like do I yeah. buy the Pokemon card? It's trading cards, yeah. So I have it, so I'm like, Oh yeah, you want it? You want it? Ooh, yeah, you want it? Oh. Okay. <laughs> then mm. give me Half a million dollars or uh, multiple million. You want for. this Pokemon card? Give me half a million dollars. And people but are that's like, what people I, are like, like, and people are like, okay. Where is everybody getting this money? Should we keep going? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Can you imagine if we got to a point where I was like, you want? Should we keep going? It's like, no. Fuck <laughs> this. <episode."> yeah. I don't <laughs> know. Okay. So the top. We might have to follow up with with stuff. with stuff on this. Yeah. Crypto and NFTs. We'll, we'll see by the we'll, end, we'll, guys. Yeah. We'll bring uh, someone in. How to? Probably. Yeah. So, guys, the top six tip is an NFT is a link to other data off the blockchain. So last episode we we talked about the blockchain and it, and it's super protected security for that type of currency, the cryptocurrency. So when you buy a Bitcoin, you buy something that exists on blockchain. When you buy an NFT, the item, digital or otherwise, it represents is it, it, what it represents is not actually stored on the blockchain. Instead, the NFT contains a URL or a link to that item in its metadata. Okay, This represents what you actually own. If the actual content represented by the NFT is moved to another location on the web, the NFT you may lose access to. And while you can save digital files to your computer or replicate them online, the only one you truly own is the one at the location specified by the NFT. Like, for instance, dude... You what? spend one point five million on a piece of uh, on an NFT, and it gets moved, or you lose where it is, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, right. Just, well, dude, it's just stupid. The amount of money getting passed around on the blockchain. Yeah, dude. Are we, I, are we still? Are you we, know, I own a. Yeah, we're, we're good. Oh okay, yeah, you watch. I uh, I own an NFT. You no. Is it your brothers? No, you you know how I got it. How. I purchased <laughs> <laughs> No, I purchased one of the first 86,000 tickets through AMC uh AMC's app to Spider-Man No Way Home when it premiered that opening weekend. Yeah. 
that I got awarded an NFT. And they and what said, is it? I'll, I'll look it up, but like, it's, yeah, it's, it's like, it's worth $1.5 million. <laughs> but that's an interesting thing. And it's like, I have it. And I'm like, okay, so 86,000 other people got this. A bunch of them are probably people who are like, don't, don't, don't even follow the, it's like you had like a few weeks or a yeah. month to get it. So the crypto a, universe is literally building its own other world. Here. That's yeah. Crypto is they have its that's own it currency. Like. They they have its own artwork. We're doing the metaverse here. We're we're going digital. Everybody, you're gonna going wake digital. up and get into your vid- your your pod. Ready player one. And I'm gonna dude, come that. out like Donkey Kong, right? And you're gonna you're come gonna be out going, like fucking be... Wendy from Wendy's, and <laughs> and it's gonna be and we're gonna hang out and do the podcast like that. It's just it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, it is. What was that movie with Bruce Willis when they were robots? They were androids that went out and actually lived the lives, but like they, he woke up and was in his. He woke up and got in the pod. It was literally what I just said. He got in the pod and he lived the. the he lived his life. Sense? No. <laughs> what? What? No. Armageddon. No. Looper? Syndicate what? or something? Syndi- I don't know. Oh, oh, it was. Jose, I'm excited to see every time that happens, it pops up on the on the screen. <laughs> yeah. right? Wow. No, but like, what movie was that? I don't know. What Bruce Willis? Well, well, the movie that I think about, the book first mm-hmm. off, and then the Steven Spielberg movie is Ready Player One. That's a a post. It's like a no. I'm it, talking about something else. I'm talking. Well, about, mine is a I'm better t- example. I'm, I'm talking about. Robotic human surrogates combine the durability of a machine with the grace and beauty of the human body. With most people living their lives through their surrogate selves, our world has become a safer place. Take a seat in your STEM chair, and just with the power of your mind, you can control your surrogate and send it out into the real world. No. All right, let's keep going here. Yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, you know, we're going to... Wait, gonna, you own an... Oh, you own the Spider-Man NFT. I own the, okay, the, the, cool. the, 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 like, premiere day of Spider-Man NFT through AMC. You know, but, I just, so, so well, the one thing well, I was I'm sorry, I'm sorry, is, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's you all know, building to digitized ownership and you know, digitized work. And we've been all over the place a little bit this episode. Yeah, but if, we if apologize. You, if you, no, no, no. We don't apologize for shit. For nothing. And if you're sitting here and you're listening to the episode and you're like, okay, fucking get on with it, guy. What are, what, what are we doing here? I want to learn how to do NFTs. Chill out. This is new to everyone. Chill out. Okay? We're having fun. Yeah. Okay? And I can feel the pressure. I feel it too. You know? But I think it's also coming from Do you know how to fact- release pressure? Yeah. You take a deep breath in, <laughs> and, and then you. <laughs> choke on a carrot. Choke uh, on a ca- yeah, for all of you listening, choke on a carrot. Okay. Um, yeah, guys, everything's leading t- towards digital stuff. It, it's just, it's all so interesting. But there will be an NFT dick pic. I swear to God. Not for there, me, maybe. It exists, probably. Oh, uh, oh, 100% it exists. You can create your own NFTs. It's like all... all the, it, there's so much stuff that will will come out about this. Anyways, Number guys. Number five. We are now moving on to the f- top five tip. And this is... Uh, a double parter. We're talking... Yeah, it's a double parter. Because we're okay. going to talk about what are some examples of, of NFTs. We have two examples yeah. that are pretty mainstream. Number five. And actually, Jose, if you could, uh, for everybody who's watching, just flash versions of these these on uh, the screen. Yeah. Just so people know Maybe what we're talking about. Maybe some dick pics. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, Maybe a couple of dick pics. Not yours, Jose's, okay? We don't want, we don't, you know. But yeah. We don't, we don't want to <laughs> get jealous. You know what I mean? I'm Jose Pizarro, and I approve this message. Number five. Okay, what are some examples of uh, NFTs? Okay? Of, yeah. We got crypto, you know, crypto kitties. Crypto kitties. See, okay, so someone can put up pussy pics, <laughs> and I and I can't do dick pics. Crypto ding dongs. <laughs> That's not a thing. 
Uh, crypto kitties. Are crypto col- red are, rockets. Yeah, crypto red rockets uh, are collectible, adoptable cats that function like trading cards. You can adopt. Look what we're talking about. Yeah. Right. Crypto kitties were one of the earliest NFTs to generate mainstream interest, and they are still popular today. Similar to buying a trading Pokemon or Magic the Gathering cards in person, you can buy, sell, and trade collectible crypto kitties on the blockchain using cryptocurrency, mainly Ethereum. These virtual trading card NFTs grew popular so quickly that they nearly broke the Ethereum network. Jesus. Yeah. Like wow. this is look at that. It's uh, it's, it's it's trading cards for a no for nerds <laughs> with money <laughs> for uh, yeah nerds with nerds money nerds with money yeah on the in the space nearly bro well first of all you hear crypto kitties I'm all in you know what I'm saying no, yeah well because you're accidentally on Pornhub Meow. yeah <laughs> yeah let me exit out of that actually and the second. Oh. Oh my God. At least get another thing. Okay. The gotcha. second example of an NFT that we have are Crypto Punks. This is one that I see all the time. So, Chris, Crypto Punks is a series of 10,000 collectible, collectible 24 by 24 pixel characters generated by an algorithm. Like with all NFTs, when you buy or trade for a Crypto Punk, your proof of ownership is stored on the blockchain, while Crypto Punks used to be free to anyone. With an Ethereum wallet, all 10,000 were claimed rather quickly, which means you can now only buy them from their current owners. Oh, Jesus. This makes crypto prints pretty scarce, thus expensive. So there's a bunch of owners of CryptoPunks just charging astronomical prices. It's crazy because this is like a 15-year-old kid and like sitting in his room and he's like, hey, mom, I just made $15 million. You know, and she's like, what? I'm at home just like, oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, um, uh, you know, but, um, uh, hey, there's so many, you know, and, and one thing that I'd like to say is that what are crypto punks? Look up crypto punks right now while I while I tell this, you know, if there is something, one thing oh, I remember I found it. in the middle oh. of oh my God. God, dude, you're gonna kill me. You're gonna kill me, dude. What do you got over there? <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> fuck off. Okay. Yeah, we need a soundboard. Okay. So, le- so one thing that I noticed. So, so in the middle of, or like before the pandemic, even, yeah. I started following this Instagram account, and it was this guy who makes these incredible digital art. And videos. Mm. And his name is Beeple. His Instagram is Beeple Crap. And he made history. Like yeah, you, it's like gifts that you can make. At, well, like, no, no, it's no, like dude. Movable artwork Look up Beeple, Beeple Crap. B E E P L E. His name is Mike Winkleman, and he's a digital artist. And he made history in March. Is this of it? 2021. Oh. And <laughs> So he had an NFT titled Every Day is the First 5,000 Days. He sold his NFT, his own digital art, for 50, or $69 million at an auction. $69 million. He's like a millionaire and because of his digital art, dude. Multi-millionaire. And he, continued, he went on to Joe Rogan's podcast and he gifted him an NFT. And and Joe Rogan's like oh, that what was is Elon this? Musk was like muscular walking a dog or something like walking dope. Oh, he point. has yeah. all these different things. There's one with like Shrek's head or whatever. There's one with a cran- Isn't cranberry. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, you make like a you make a gift like that, and all of a sudden you sell it for like seventy million dollars. Insane. But while we become a little bit more depressed yeah. about Meanwhile, that amount I'm of money. At home. Oh. We'll see at the uh, after this ad break, guys. Hey, Kirk. Yeah. You know what sucks? What? When I'm at home and I'm trying to get an NFT or someone to buy one of my dick pics, and I get a phone call, and I'm like, hello, who is this? And they're like... Oh. <laughs> I, 
Oh my god, you know, I could not <laughs> agree more. <laughs> you know what doesn't suck? What? <laughs> Botticelli Foods. Botticelli Foods. Yeah, you know, I am uh, tired of this bit now, <laughs> uh, but I'm also tired of buying expensive, low-quality foods. I deserve nice things. I deserve quality. Yeah, you deserve. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> okay. You know what? Yeah, you deserve quality. Yeah. But Botticelli Foods, okay, they're family-owned. And they're operated with four generations in the food industry. And that's more than you know in your own family. You don't know four generations unless you go on Ancestry.com. That's right. To which I realized I'm dating my sister. So <laughs> don't go on there. But, but Botticelli's, they bring an experience to your table with a taste that transports you to the heart of Italy. Okay? And it has nothing to do with realize you're dating your sister. That's right. Right. Guys, if you go to... BotticelliFoods.com and use the promo code doozy at checkout. You can get 10% off all Botticelli food products. We're talking pasta. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? We're talking sauce. We're talking. <laughs> yeah. We're talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Okay, we're talking olive oil, we're talking balsamics, mm -hmm. okay, and many more flavorful products. That's right. Guys, Botticelli Foods are extraordinary and outstanding, just like the oh. <laughs> <laughs> of Doozy. All right, now, back to the auction. Oh. Hey, everybody. Hi. Hey, we're back, everybody. We're back. Guys, I'm so I'm just so riled up. You know? For some I know we Yeah, you know, same. I'm riled up by all of this and stuff. I just don't I just don't know when you know, I don't know where I stand, whether I'm in the middle or whether I'm like, this stuff is dumb, or whether I'm like oh, money. We're talking about the podcast, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they, they, yeah, it's, it's just, so we're going to round this out with, um, uh, with our final category of tips, which is how do you even buy NFTs? And we're going to go through these real quick because hopefully we'll, we'll understand it a little bit more. We're going to start with number four, which is find an F NFT to buy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Where no, even are may, they? Maybe not one that's a million dollars or yeah. 70 million. So you can buy NFTs on various platforms depending on what you want to buy. If you're just browsing, check out a popular marketplace like OpenSea. Look look these up if you, if you can. OpenSea, Rarible, or Nifty Gateway. <laughs> Once you find an NFT you want, create an account on the platform or marketplace to get started. So it oh, says OpenSea is the largest NFT market. Interesting. Let's explore here. So it says keep in mind that owning an NFT doesn't give you copyright ownership of the item it represents. So I guess the copyright is from the creator or whatever. Uh, so so the t on the this main on the main page we have Wonks. Wonks is, I guess, the new popular. Jose, NFT show buy. the Wonks. Hold wonks. Sh show the. It's show the them. first fully woman themed punk derivatives. Okay, we are Wonks. Uh huh. We are Wonks. A group inspired by the crypto punks craze that is here to level the playing field and change the game. Wonks. Feature a fully diverse collection that only with only women style punks wonks. So it's punks, but it's win, oh, women only. Wonks. Okay. Ownership grants you access to a private, unique Discord community solely focused on creating a safe space in the world of crypto, along with unique airdrops and 
launches. What do you think that? <laughs> what do you think that Discord is like when you buy an NFT and you're oh. like, oh my god, yay, and a bunch of, of a bunch of nerdy rich people. <laughs> so if you own an NFT, it doesn't mean that it gives you copyright ownership of the item it represents. So this means that the person who created the item referred to, uh, referred to by the NFT is free to sell or dis, uh, redistribute that same item, digital or not, to other people. All of... You're not even put, putting it into good times. Okay, okay. all you own is the record on the blockchain. So you, there, at some point in the blockchain, it shows that you have ownership of this. So similarly, purchasing an NFT doesn't give you permission to reproduce the associated content, such as a piece of art, without the creator's permission. Think of it like purchasing an autographed book. The book's author can au autograph other copies of the same book and sell it to other people without any repercussions. Uh, repercussions. Oh, so so on, it means that uh, on open the owner. Uh, well, on open sea here, yeah. the other big thing is. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've I've heard that's a really big NFT. No, actually, ooh, hold on. Now you know what this open sea thing. I'm I'm gonna we're gonna start buying it. Oh wow, they so okay. Uh, also on the main page, they have an NFTs where. That are there's <laughs> there's a one of the <laughs> one of the most popular I guess trending things in NFT worlds right now on OpenSea on the main page is a collection of just old like t toilets. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? Yeah, just old toilet designs. Just like what old urinals and toilets looked like. Are you serious? Back in the day, yes. Wait, dude, I'm I'm seeing this one right here, and it uh, and it's like a popular section, and it's all about. Oh no! I hope I don't fall. Um, God, we're 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 so Is that similar off the deep end. to. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. There's so many NFTs. There's so many NFTs. I'm going to buy one. Let's fucking buy one. I already got one, dude. Catch up. 1.5 mil. Some donkey, you know. A suck, donkey? Sucking his. NFTs. You, <laughs> no, but the thing, the weird thing about NFTs is like, right now, where they, where they, find themselves it's like people are putting them as they're like profile pictures or certain things like oh, oh yeah you i bought bragging this. little oh you bragging little you bragging that's literally you know what we should do we should change our profile picture to like the mona lisa <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing it's like that's literally what it equivalates to is when you people see those me, when people yeah. explain NFTs, they that they, their thing is okay. So you know the Mona Lisa, right? And you're like, no. So you know blockchain? Ah, uh, not not really. Not really. I have a job. <laughs> it's on the blockchain. I work for the blockchain. No, yeah, okay. Let's just keep going. All right, we so got find one that you like. That's affordable. That's okay? affordable. Don't I take out guess. a second mortgage for some monkey. You know, that's or some the one blowfish thing. touching his. <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you, let me tell you, like I've seen memes and things of like, oh, oh, the, I took the, out oh, my oh, the, the most popular NFTs right now are board is apes. the board apes, the board yeah, apes. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. But like I've seen jokey like memes and videos uh, of like people being like, like when you take out your entire college fund to buy an nft but it was like a fake or something yeah. and it's like that's where we're at right now yeah people are it's a scam is it no no well at least I don't know. that's why i tell myself i i dumped my fund into um the dick pic nft that i am um, yeah, so. yeah yeah all right okay, number, we have number three, three everybody more tips let, let, let's power through this i, I mean like I, I i you know yeah i'm having fun i'm having fun I'm just so. What I'm ha happy about right now, we need a blowfish that NFT. That's what I'm, what, what I'm happy about, yeah, a blowfish NFT for sure. But yeah. what I'm happy about right now is that we don't have somebody that we're talking to that we're just absolutely being so disrespectful to by the. 
<laughs> Who cares? You but know like, what? You know. You know what? I'm gonna What's be top through tip? Let's it, keep it going. But we said this earlier. Like we're having fun. This is the episode. We're That's talking right. through it. We don't need to be that, you know, direct, okay? And anyone who's listening to this who's like, oh my God, get to the NFTs already. These guys are bugging me. I'm going to say, you know what? Eat a carrot and (laughs) yourself. Because (laughs) number three, everyone, get a wallet. A real wallet. Which is this. Made out of leather. Okay, like a man. All right? Or a wonk. The wonks. Look, when you find the NFT you want, you'll see its price and say, nah. <laughs> <laughs> How much? Nah. <laughs> How much? For an old toilet pick? <laughs> Fucking. Right? You'll see, you know, you'll see the price in the type of cur- c- cryptocurrency you'll be expected to pay. If you don't already have the cryptocurrency, Wallet for the blockchain on you on which your NFT resides. You need to get one. You want one of those board ape things. You need 13 billion Scooby Doo points. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what you need. Okay. For example, if you're buying an NFT on the Ethereum blockchain, you'll need an Ethereum wallet such as MetaMask, which works in a web browser. I hate MetaMask, by the way, or Coinomi. <sighs> Look, All these different if a, names. If a, if, a, if, a, if a specific wallet is required by the marketplace you're using, you'll find that inf- that information on the on its website. Yeah, to There's buy these different, you yeah, have to have have specific to, wallets. Yeah. yeah, you gotta buy. You gotta buy poop coin if you, you want to buy. Like, yeah. If you want, but you. Well, let me tell you, you have to spend a million dollars in poop coin just to buy the eight. <laughs> picture well let me tell you what, we, what, <laughs> what are we doing <laughs> are we selling pokemon or not what are we doing let me tell you what tell me when we make our shit nft that on tops is not fudgeable yeah. toy, not fudge toy kids to, yeah toy kids you're gonna have to pay in shitcoin for sure yeah that's exactly. the only but you have to invest in shit but and it's yeah it'd be just, a million dollars Take a million dollars out of your bank account. Buy shitcoin. But this is where I'm at, dude. I I don't know whether I feel like I'm a curmudgeonly old person by saying like, is does is this childish? Is this absolutely yeah, I don't insane? Know. Well, I don't know. The, I'm going on record well, here. Here's the other thing, though. But like, if if, if, the, if the picture is like a million dollars. And you throw in a million dollars between the fees of transferring the coin and like just having like that coin like just be volatile in the marketplace. By the time it transfers, you need to put in an extra half a million for just to balance out like the 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 fees and where it's at. Does that make sense? The, wait, wait, what? Yeah, you, I guess. Okay, so if they're like, okay, here's the picture. It's a million dollars. You upload a million dollars into shitcoin. Meanwhile, shitcoin by itself is volatile and and changing its price. You know, every every second, it, it when you put the million in, it all of a sudden that million starts to change its value, right? And then you transfer it, which there could be a transfer fee, and at that volume. It could be like a hundred grand or fifty grand or something like that. So you, that's the other thing you want to yeah. buy. Like, because I've bought coins, but sometimes to get one coin, you have to put in extra over time. No, or like just when- at the starting point, just because of of how volatile the market is and the fees to transfer it. Because it's, just to buy it's, the coin, it's right. adjusting all the fucking time. Right. Right. Because people are constantly, yeah. Right. Like, well, that's what I'm saying. Bitcoin right now could be 40 grand, and in, and in two minutes, it could be 41 grand. You know what I mean? Or it could be 38. It could, and so you're losing that money trying to buy this piece of artwork. It's a race against the market just to buy this piece of artwork. You can't be like, hey, here's fucking a million dollars cash. You can buy the picture now. Yeah, Bitcoin right now is that at makes sense. Forty two thousand dollars a Bitcoin. They're they're um, two uh, months ago it was at seventy, and it crashed because those people pulled out at seventy, and now they re went in at forty with the extra money, and now you make 
like triple the amount. Their market cap is at one point five trillion. Anyways, guys, we're going on to Woo! the top two tip. Add some cryptocurrency to your wallet. So we got you gotta the wallet. get a wallet first. You gotta get the wallet first, whatever that is, you know, but but you gotta know your oh. NFT, whatever. Uh, oh, oh, oh. It's, <laughs> Guys, the steps to buy cryptocurrency vary by region, as, as may the cryptocurrencies available for purchase on each exchange. Some popular exchanges are Coinbase. Hey, you were mentioning that. Uh, hey. Binance, Gemini, Kraken. Release the Kraken. All of these exchanges let you purchase Ethereum. That's what I'm seeing. A lot of these are like only accepting Ethereum or something. So Bitcoin is, and Ethereum are the big ones. They're the top. Did you know that Ethereum was created by a teenager? I mean, I'm I'm so de- I'm thirty. <laughs> so de- Ethereum. Is- what have you done with your life? I'll tell you. Oh. Okay, no, but like guys, so, uh, so you've Ethereum- been oh. <laughs> your way through life. Yes, and- I have. Oh. <laughs> That's a blowfish choking on a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Ethereum, which is usually but not always the currency required to buy NFTs, if you can buy cryptocurrency from your wallet, great. If you choose a wallet that doesn't offer you the option to buy cryptocurrency, just store it. You'll need to send the cryptocurrency you buy from an exchange to your wallet's address. Yeah. This is all so much. And what's yeah. crazy is there's, there's some billionaire that's going to watch this because, you know, they do. And they're going to steal and our they, ideas. And they're going to be like, they're going to be like, how do I buy this million dollar NFT? And then they watch us and we're like, you got to get a wallet. Then you got to add crypto to your wallet and blah, blah, blah. And they're like, oh, okay. And then. Uh, and what, what, what's going to happen? Did you, did, uh, were you, was that going to uh, You know, Botticelli's. <laughs> so, so, well, you know how to add cryptocurrency to your wallet. Like we explained last, last week. Yeah, I think so. Do you remember that? This is all so much information. Guys, we're recording this. All on the same yeah, day. Yeah, but we have Jose. He's going to make us look good. Yeah. <laughs> Please make us look so smart. Please. Um, yeah. You know what? Let's just move We're on. We're at the, the number are. one tip. Oh, 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 your your um uh, uh, your NFT uh, because uh, I don't know uh, I don't know anymore. Alex, you're the number one <laughs> tip. God damn it! Uh, uh, I'm shit. so done. Uh, I don't know anymore. I don't know uh, anymore. What's happening? This is with a all blow this fish stuff and choking stuff. on a carrot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Why would you show me this video, guy? Okay. <laughs> the number one tip, everyone. Bid on or purchase your NFT, okay? If you're on an NFT auction site like Rarible, okay, you can place a bid for the amount of cryptocurrency you'd be willing to pay for the NFT. Get on the site right now. We're going to buy one right now live, okay? I'm going to show you mine. Yeah, okay. If you win the auction... You'll have to pay that amount in the services crypto. In the case of Rarible, that'll be Ethereum, okay? And make sure you understand, you know, like how much one Ethereum is. Because if you think Ethereum is like uh, like a dollar or ten dollars or something like that, and they're like, we're selling this picture of a banana. For 10,000 Ethereum. And you're like, oh, okay, I got $10,000, you know? And then all of a sudden, you're like, oh, sh-. they're like, okay, well, you, now you owe us half a mil, right? And I'm no math teacher, but that the math is pretty, I did quick math, and that's, and that's correct, okay? And if it's not correct, the rest of you can just, oh. anyways, to get the NFT, to sum it up while he's doing that, to, uh, how to NFT? I got you. 
This is what you do. You find your NFT. You add crypto to the wallet. You get a wallet. Then you bid on the NFT. Or just buy it. And that's the the shindig. But you gotta... But each NFT is like a million dollars. So what are you gonna do? You know what I mean? You could probably sell your NFT for like a million something. Who the hell knows, dude? I don't... That's that's why I'm like... I guess I'm holding on In a court of law right now, if your NFT is worth like half a mil, I want 10%. Now give me... Absolutely not! All right. Well, that's all. Those are, those are the top... Uh, how many tips do we have? I don't know. Top eight tips for how to NFT. No... Where's your mind at right now, Stop <laughs> with, with all this crypto and NFT stuff. Well... I'm because I actually want to. I, I, I want to buy an NFT. I'd like to. You know, I, I'm torn. But half, I don't think I have my, it. I half of it. my mind is like, okay, I'm gonna yeah. buy an NFT, and the other half is like, oh, oh. absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Let the fish chew on the carrot. <laughs> You're shoving a carrot in the popper fish's mouth. Let him chew it and swallow the first piece first. <laughs> That's why he's choking. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. This, all this stuff, this change, this crypto, this NFT stuff, this excessive <laughs> amount of this soundboard that of one sound that we've used this episode. This is the most. <laughs> oh, he's choking on a carrot. <laughs> Let him chew the piece. If there's anything I learned about NFTs after this episode is the pufferfish is choking on a carrot. Right. Hey, get your NFT today. We're going to have the pufferfish NFT coming out. Coming out we, with yeah. the, the carrot midway through. Yeah, yeah. we're going to have, we should have an NFT of you just like, it's like, it's like a gif of you. It's like a gif of you being like, oh. We could make right. this an NFT to be honest. That'd be good. We should do that. That'd be a fun NFT. Let's do that. I don't even know. Yeah, we, we we. This is just yeah. A you start. do. We just did an episode about. Do it. I know? I, you know, like this is yeah. just a start. <laughs> yeah, you it's do. It's so overwhelming, you know. I and it's like this episode's been three hours long. Thank you for watching the Meta Doozy podcast. Uh, while you were looking up your your thing, I explained to them the NFTs. Good, good. What it we is? Done that in the first place, right? <laughs> what it is? That's what we're gonna do. The episodes would be like, hey, how to camp. <laughs> Leave it how you left it. <laughs> so good. Um, yeah, guys, you know what? You share this. Get an uh, NFT. We're gonna get a follow up, and we're gonna have. We're, we're gonna definitely have, gonna follow. Yeah, up we're on gonna this we're gonna have a professional, and he's gonna watch this episode, and then he's gonna be like, "You guys are wrong." Okay. The way of the world. He's gonna be like, "What is this?" <laughs> <laughs> Can I see it? Can I hear it? <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. We need. I need that blowfish T-shirt. Okay. I want to buy that blowfish. The and blowfish is probably used and uh, it's probably dead. It's probably gone. Dude, he sees gags so hard yeah. on that. In that yeah. Yeah. You um, know, on a, on a totally unrelated note, um, we have a carriage, carrot shortage. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching the Meta Disney podcast. Yeah. You know, um, comment what your favorite tip was, you know, if, and, and if you have a tip, how to, uh, you know, insert topic, then send us a comment. <laughs> Sorry. You. <laughs> if you. <laughs> this never happens that he takes over. <laughs> if you have. Because I'm tip. usually the one who's overwhelmed. Well, let's do or, something. Or that he's I'm not the, overwhelmed. No, I'm he is. A blast. Uh, oh, wait. I don't even. That's the NFT. I'm like, I'm having a blast. Comment on what your favorite tip was. If you have a tip uh, for how to insert topic, then send us a comment. Guys, please share this. You know, we're on uh, uh, we're on YouTube. Subscribe, please. We're on uh, Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Yeah. All those those those. We're top, on OpenSea uh, too. I have a dick pic NFT, and <laughs> it's going for a million one point five. But and if you want to buy it, 
you know, you, you have to add more to your crypto wallet because of how volatile the market is. Yeah. And then fees and whatnot. So you want to add more. Uh -huh. Yeah, dude. And I'm uh, on OpenSea. I'm going to I'm gonna debut in the next few months a, um, yeah. a I, peach emoji. But yeah. the peach is actually my dumb truck ass. Yeah. I so, think uh, after <laughs> this after this episode, I'm going to swim out into open sea. And just yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And I mean, you know, and I am going to turn into a Wilson volleyball and just keep, oh, com keep you company. Oh, nice. But uh, yeah, and none of this made sense to me. Guys, see you next episode. Oh. <laughs>